What was normal to have in 2010 but not 2020? Shake weights. Boots with the fur edit. Thank you for my first silver, good human. Carrot carrot wit carrot carrot dar carrot carrot fur. Quite, and them apple bottom jeans. Cell phone with a physical keyboard. I missed the fuck out of my rumor touch. Burned CDs that you wrote on top of. Edit. I never thought burned CDs would cause so much controversy. Some say they still use them today and others say it was long before 2010. I graduated HS in 2010, and we all had old cars at 18 years old that played CDs or cassettes. You were real lucky to have an O-port and the FM transmitters were trash then. Now I use a cassette with an O-cord in my even older car person shrugging female sign. LOL, I just burnt yet another album onto a CD since it never got a physical release. And I made a few compilation CDs. Only reason is because I hate radio and the O USB ports in my car no longer work. Silly bands. Those were the shit when I was in elementary school. You were considered cool. Rage comics. It's how I started Reddit. Trollface 2. 1000 bitcoins. I'm still kicking myself. Things with moustaches on them. I remember I had a pair of shades that had moustaches on them and I thought they were so pimpin'. Also galaxy theme everything. Pimpin' now that's a word I haven't heard in a while. Galaxy theme is popular with baked goods now. There are a lot of galaxy glazed cakes on Reddit. A Vuvuzela. Holy shit was that 10 years ago. Woo. All those live strong type landfill bracelets for everything. Landfill bracelets yes, this exactly. What an utter waste of silicone. This reminds me of those stupid wristbands everyone had that was supposed to block radio waves or some shit. A PSP. I have a PSP Go that I still use today. Perfect for emulating and it's pretty easy to find ISO of most PSP games. Just downloaded the PSP version of Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. Edit. Thank you all for the cake day greetings. I feel so loved pleading face. Not many people talk about Wii but I feel like that was the real shit. Yeah but if you gained weight since your last login it goes, oh. In a super surprised and judgy way. Edit thank you for my first silver. A Blackberry phone. Ping. Miss being able to text accurately in class without looking at my phone. Also, extremely satisfying feeling typing on BB keyboard edit. I'm not still in school, probably shouldn't have said, in class. I love my key one and people keep telling me how cool it is and asking me what kind of phone it is. Oh. Any respect for Jared the Subway guy. Also $5 foot longs. Subway is fairly pricey these days. I went on a small Subway date with a girl around 2011-2012. The restaurant had a signed, framed pair of his pants on display. That was weird to write. Edit. The Subway restaurant had the pants, not the girl, you big silly gooses. Edit 2. That was the last time we hung out with any romantic prospects. She had to focus on university and I was starting an intense year of school myself so we just agreed nothing was clicking. I've completely lost touch with her so I wouldn't even call us friends, if I'm being honest. I'm all partnered up now and very happy. CD, DVD drive. Yesterday I took my laptop out, it's a ThinkPad I run CAD stuff on. I wanted to play Absolute Fabulous DVD because I'm sick and bored, and wanted to lay in bed. Then I realized. I don't have a device with a DVD per candela player. My tower doesn't have one, my laptop doesn't have. I can't even recall when was the last I needed one other than last night. Everything from programs to media I basically have either online or on USB storage. Edit. Okay. Since I know it'll get a lot more comments about this. I don't have a gaming console, I don't even have a TV to plug it into. I bought a laptop within the last year and this was one of the criteria. It needed to have a DVD drive. I watch a lot of stuff on my computer, I still have a lot of DVDs, I want to be able to play them. It was one of the only ones that had one. Please enjoy the music while your party is reached. Proceeds to blast some deep fried orchestra music. I work in a call center and make outbound calls to clients we are assigned to, not spam, they call us first for help. Every once in a while you still get someone who is probably paying $5 a month for this and has no idea. 
The moment you head, please enjoy this music, you rip your headset away to prevent hearing loss. I hope you're happy cause you just triggered some PTSD I didn't know I had. Removed. Epic zombie moustache bacon unicorn. I once bought fake moustache for my Komodo dragon, afterwards I had a bearded dragon. Iron Lieutenant, 3 boobies wristbands. Ugh I remember that whole wristband thing. My friend was all about those. He'd collect them. Only one fucking streaming service. As opposed to 2020, where I now start at a DVD collection. I'm not sure there was only one, I remember having both Hulu and Netflix in 2010, so I could watch all the shows instead of having to record them on DVDs. Those chipmunk remixes of pop music. God I hated those. Oh god. Every single song had a chipmunk version on YouTube. RIP. Edit. Spelling cause I'm an idiot. Introducing. Nightcore. A still functioning flip phone with no access to the internet. You mean a flip phone with an internet button that made you freak out when you accidentally clicked it. That shit could get expensive real quick. There's a janitor at my dorm who still uses one. I found it in the common room and brought it to the front desk coincidentally the same time he was asking if anyone had found a phone. It looked fucking ancient. The girl joked that he was the only one who still owned a flip phone and he went, it tells me the time and it makes phone calls. What else do I need a phone for? Tickets to a Bill Cosby stand-up show. I hear the drinks there will knock you out. There's a really cool Bill Cosby drinking game. Laugh at one of his jokes, one drink enjoy an episode of the Cosby show two drinks meet him in real life, drink till incoherent and unconscious. A large collection of DVDs. I still have a large collection of DVDs, a worrying number of them still unopened. I've moved to Blu-rays. Streaming just doesn't cut it, and UHD rips are huge. Gotta have the best quality audio and video. I doubt I have as many BRs as I had DVDs at the height, but still quite a few. An email account other than Gmail. A Hotmail account. Oh yeah. I still use my at ymail.com email. It's a Yahoo email address, but I constantly have to repeat it because everyone assumes I meant Gmail. Skeptical smiley face. A movie produced by Harvey Weinstein. Swine flu. Don't worry we've got the next best thing. Apparently hand sanitizer. And Costco toilet paper. A landline. I have a landline because it comes with the cable and internet. I don't have a phone for it though. And I'd have to look in the phone book for my number, but it's there. I'm somebody now. Apple presentations from Steve Jobs. Funny ringtones. Everyone had some ridiculous comedy ringtone for a couple of years there, and then in like 2011 we just mutually decided as a culture to keep our phones on vibrate. Except old people on trains. B-I-N-G-L-Y bong bong D-I-N-G-L-Y dong dong D-E-E-E-D-L-Y do do do. We just mutually decided as a culture to keep our phones on vibrate that's up there with the Magna Carta and the founding of the United Nations. Musical note mulatto butts musical note. How has no one said Heelys? Kids with Heelys fucked. They're still around, I see kids goofing off with them at work from time to time. A GPS mounted in your car. I still use it, in rural Australia you have no phone signal, so have to rely on them tom tom. An iPod. Herd immunity. A separate device for music from your cell phone. Still use my MP3 player and amp, hash X200B, batteries for ages and I can grab it after two months and it still has 70% battery. I still use my iPod for music, especially when I'm on the road. Don't want to run out of battery on my phone because I'm listening to music non-stop edit. To all the people that tell me to charge my phone in the car, I already answered this to another comment. I mostly walk everywhere, I rarely drive. When I walk through the woods or streets for example I don't like a cable hanging out of my trousers back pockets when using a power bank. When I'm in the car, obviously I use my car phone charger. I respect that you prefer to listen to your music on your phone, but listening to music with my iPod and doing everything else on my phone just works best for me personally. I never thought I'd get aggressive messages because I say I enjoy listening to music on my iPod more than on my phone. Some of you really need to chill edit. Also shout out to the nice comments from everyone else, thank you for your stories about why you prefer either iPod, MP3, USB or phone for your music. 
In the end we just all enjoy music. A Golden State Warriors game without any fans. Troll face on your profile pic on any social media. CRT monitors rip my beautiful 50 pound Samsung Syncmaster 24 inches CRT beast, you were perfect for all my CS 1.6 needs. Fear of the world ending in 2012. Edit. Wow, didn't expect this many people to see this. Thanks guys. And yeah, I get that most people didn't actually fear the end of the world, but you can't deny that it was part of the culture back then. I was in high school and everyone always talked and joked about it. Now everyone just wishes it ended in 2012. A subscription to Smosh. Serotonin. A Webkins account. A MySpace account still up. A blockbuster in your town. No opinion on Donald Trump. Back in 2009-2010 I had a teacher who hated Trump because for some reason her son was obsessed with The Apprentice and would watch it religiously. She told us, every time I see his stupid face and stupid hair on the screen I want to jump out a window. I wonder where she is now. I was actually watching the 2007 Democratic debate and they mentioned Trump. Kind of funny because of how significant B would be in 8 years. A binder full of CDs in your car.